making of lasagna. So first we boil the lasagna, then we cool it down under cold water, these strips of lasagna. Then we cut corn, basil. This basil is by the way from the backyard Govinda farm. And uh, olives and bell peppers. So you put a sheet of lasagna on the floor, on the, on the base of the vessel, which is uh, fireproof. You're going to put it in the oven. And then a layer of lasagna, then all the various vegetables, olives, corn, basil, and then some white paste, which is basically our purpose flour paste with some salt in it. And then we have the sauce here, which is tomato sauce. You could use canned or you could use fresh, either way is fine. And this is the sauce, look at the consistency. It's more like sambar, it is not really very tight. And then you put it on these different lasagna strips. And then we will put it in the oven. The oven needs to be heated till 400, right now it is made it to 293. So once it goes to 400, then we will put these um, trays in there. Hare Krishna. The next step is to put some cheese, mozzarella cheese and arbonaro peppers, which are these light yellow ones. They are supposed to have the highest chili potency. And then we'll top it off with some shreds of cream cheese. Cream cheese comes in packets like this, so small pieces, and we continue. So these are the habanero peppers. They are supposed to be the most chili potency, originally from Mexico. You could use jalapeno, but jalapeno is mild compared to the habanero. Now we are topping it off with spinach. So. You could either grow in the garden or buy it. So for this time, we are buying it from outside. So we put in these layers of spinach leaves, baby spinach. And now the second layer of lasagna goes on top. So the second layer of lasagna. And then we repeat. We put in some more sauce, the olives, the red bell pepper, the basil and the corn. So rinse and repeat, second layer, all of these same items again. So here we are putting the second layer of the tomato sauce. So the tomato sauce has very simple ingredients, salt and asafoetida. Asafoetida is a replacement for onion and garlic. It gives the same potency and the taste, flavor. One more layer of the white paste. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Now top it off with some basil fresh grown just harvested it 20 minutes ago from the Govinda farms so it gives you very nice aromatic flavor because it is fresh from the plant. The one you buy in the store could be harvested three days ago. Who knows? And then some corn. Corn gives that crunchy bite when you bite into the lasagna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Now the oven is ready. The preheating to 400 has already happened. For more olives. And then finally, with a dash of habanero pepper shreds. So good amount of effort goes into it. 
that two trays can feed six people, stretching it eight people. Now we are on the final stretch. The red bell peppers goes on the second layer. So there's a layer of lasagna at the bottom and all the vegetables and the cheese. And now the second layer of lasagna, all the vegetables and the cheese. And finally, we top it off with some mozzarella cheese. Our cheese on the top. Now for the final layer of spinach. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, now for the third layer of lasagna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So once it cooks, we'll offer it to Radha Prosperishwara here in Prosper, Texas, and then give it to the devotees. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So now we are topping it off with the white sauce all purpose flour, salt, nothing fancy Cashews And cashews So if you have nut allergies don't use cashew but otherwise most population can use cashews Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. The red sauce and the white sauce go in with the July 4th Independence Day theme of red, white and blue. Of course, we are missing a little bit of blue. Now cheese for the final layer and then it will go into the oven. Bajahure mana shri nanda nanda na abhaya chara nara vindare Durlava manava janama satsange Tarahue bhava sindure Sita hatapa bata barisana Edina jamini jagire Vifala sevino kripana durijanam Chapala sukhala bhala girem Idhana yauvana putra parijanam Ite ki ate parati tirem 
ಕಮಲ ದಲ ಜಲ ಜೀವನ ತಲಮಲ ಗಜಹು ಹರಿ ಪದ ನೀತಿರೆ ಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಸ್ಮರಣ ವಂದನ ಪಾದ ಸೇವನ ಧಾಸ್ಯರೆ ಪೂಜನ ಸಖಿ ಜನ ಆತ್ಮ ನಿವೇದನ ಗೋವಿಂದ ದಾಸ ಬಿಲಾಸ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಸಾನ್ಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಬೀರ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಾಧ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪರೀಶ್ವರ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಯು ಗೋಂಟ್ ನಾವು ಫುಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅವನ್ and before doing that the chef padma devi dasi has decided to wrap it up in aluminum foil so that there is uniform heating otherwise you may find some spots which are burnt and some spots which are uncooked hare krishna this is how the final product looks like it's been offered so now we can have prashadam